gonna show you how to make the perfect pretzel. Now that's a fluffy pretzel. Gotta make this. In a large bowl like this, add in two cups of warm water, one and one half light brown sugar, then add in one packet of instant yeast. Then mix this all up and let this sit for five to seven minutes. Once a foamy raft has formed, you're now ready to move on. Melt three ounces of butter and while whisking, we put it in. Still while whisking, add in one and a half teaspoons of salt. Your mixture should have a drippy consistency. You could either use a whisk or a rubber spatula. While mixing, add five and one half cups of flour. So now that your five and one half cups of flour are in, you can start kneading the dough. Now you can start kneading your dough. Make sure you get all the flour. It should be kind of sticky. If it's getting too hard to knead it in the bowl, you could also knead it on the counter. Now make it as smooth as possible. Now in a large bowl, spray with canola spray or oil. Now place it in your dough and flip it over one time. Now cover that and let that rest for 20 to 30 minutes. Once your dough is done resting, always make sure to punch it. Make sure your countertop is clean and then you can knead the dough a little bit. Grab a scale and measure out a dough ball about three ounces. And make sure to knead your ball with your hands into a mini dough ball. Line your pan with parchment paper. Put your dough balls onto the parchment paper. Once your dough balls are rolled out, you rest it for five minutes. Once they are done resting, now we can start making them into the pretzel shape. You can either do this on the counter or a cutting board. So start rolling out your dough into a long string. Once your dough is rolled out, now you can start making the pretzel shape. First, cross over the two ends, then twist over the two ends and flip it on back onto the dough. In a pot, have one gallon of water. On the stove, turn on the heat. On a high heat, put on the pot of water. Add 3 fourths cup baking soda into the water. Now crack one egg. You only need the egg yolk for this. With that, add one tablespoon of cold water and whisk that up. Now that that's ready, the so baking soda bath should be ready. So now, you can also do this for your hands, but, but I'm using this spoon. Dip in the pretzel. Make sure to throw some water over that. Only leave this in for three to four seconds, and now that's good. Let that drip a little bit, and now back onto your parchment paper. Now grab your egg and water mixture and brush it on the pretzels. Now sprinkle on some kosher or sea salt. Now put this in the oven at 450 for 13 minutes. The pretzels are now done, so now we can eat them. Now this is the perfect pretzel. You can either play with any dipping sauce you want, and I'm choosing cream cheese for this one. Now that's the perfect pretzel.